Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. Another week, another tutorial. Several days ago, I asked people on my Instagram and YouTube what tutorial should I do next, and the result is modeling tutorials. So this time, I'll show you how to model and texture a realistic bin bag for your interior rendering. Because why not? Everyone loves to have one in their room. Okay, let's get into it. Modeling. The main principle of making this bean bag is cloth simulation. That's exactly how I'm gonna make it. First, let's make a plane represent a floor. Then for the bean bag, you can start with an UV sphere. Or another way is using a cube. Then give it some subdivision like 5 or 6 and hit apply. Now I have this sphere made out of a cube. So I'll go to the simulation tab and choose cloth. Don't forget to turn on the collision for the floor. If I hit play, the sphere will now drop and collide with the floor. Then it shrinks. To avoid that, I'll activate the self collision and give the bolt distance as 5 mm and hit play again. It is much better. Next, I'm gonna make a bin bag inflated. Because you know, the bean bag is basically a bag with foam particles inside. That's why it's inflated. And to do that, I'll turn on the pressure and set the value of 1. Let's see how it goes. Great. Now turn it up to something like 7 and play it again. Okay, that's for the pressure. Then I'll simulate the effect of someone sitting on the bag. To do that, I'll make another sphere, scale it down a little bit, and then add the position keyframe by hitting I and then position. Then go to the frame city and add another position keyframe. There we go. Okay, maybe I have to give it even more pressure. Seems like the more subdivision it has, the more pressure it requires. After some work around, I think 15 is good. As you can see, the bean bag is now in the right shape. I'm gonna hit apply the cloth modifier, and then we will have only the mesh of the bag. No more simulation. Material. Next, I'm gonna do the material for the bean bag. The bag is made out of velvet fabric. Let's take a look at some references here. You can see the facing shade is dark while the edges are so much brighter. That's why I'm gonna increase the sheen value. The maximum sheen value is 1 by default, but since the velvet material needs more sheen, I cranked up by typing 10 here. You can see the difference between with and without the sheen. Maybe it's too much, I'll leave it as 8 for now. It's better. Okay, this is basically velvet, but it's not so realistic. To give it some realism, I'm gonna add some wrinkles and scratches. Look at the reference, you can see the scratches which are darker errors. I will use this texture to replicate the effect. You can download for free in the link I give below. First, I'll load this velvet texture into the shader editor. You can see how it apply with our mesh with Control Shift with left click. I'll add a mapping node by hitting Control T. Maybe scale it up a little by click and drag. I can change three values at one. You know, there are some darker areas and some brighter ones in the reference, so I'll use this map to specify them. I used a RGB node and then choose the red color here, then I connect it to a mixed RGB node. Put the same color to both slots, use a RGB curve to darken the red color of the second slot. And for the factor, I'll use the velvet map that we loaded. And look at it, it now have some velvet material. Okay, one more thing, the sheen value now is just a single number. So to make it more realistic, I'll connect the map into the sheen value. Now the sheen will be controlled by the velvet map. White areas mean more sheen and black areas mean no sheen. But then it's not like velvet 
anymore because the highest sheen value of the map is 1 at this time that's why we have to multiply it by 8 to match with the previous value I used a color ramp in between to take the black color and raise it up a little bit this way we will increase the value of black areas means the black areas now have a little sheen value as well Now it's time to add some wrinkles. Use this normal map I provide in the descriptions to edit with a normal map node. Change the color space to none color and then scale it down a little bit. Now we are successfully added extra fabric fold detail to the beam back. Another thing that I almost forgot is the extra bump of the velvet material. I'll use a Voronoi texture and then scale it down then connect to the bump node add an invert node between to have the correct direction of the bump and voila now the velvet material is done for the environment i'll make it all black then i add an area light to light up the scene i'll make the floor glossy with small roughness and increase the clear coat value it will create a fancy glossy look for the floor i also add two more area lights to add a studio setup for the scene. Okay, and that's how I make the realistic velvet beanbag. You can use it in any of your interior scenes. Comment below if you have any concern or problem. If you follow this tutorial, please share with everyone and tag me at masaru37 m a s a r u 37 on Instagram. Thank you for joining me with this tutorial and I'll see you next week with another one. Bye bye! As you can see in our reference here, the bean bed have these seams that are visible to our normal eyes. So I'm gonna replicate the seams without bean bag here. So switch to the uh, solid mode and so because this one, this base mass of the bin bag is made of the cube with subdivision. So it's already have four seams. You have to uh, find it. So if you uh, come across or something like this, is this is one, two, and three seams. And then continue to the other side. We have this one and this and this one. Okay, and then we come to this face. Let me turn off this one. And finally is this one. Okay, I have to do this first, but never mind. Now we have, uh, now we added some bevel by control B and then scroll the mouse to add another line between. Okay, then we hit control and numpad minus then we will select the inner lines of these seams okay then we will scale it down like so and we kind of have the seam 